Hey everybody, hey MP here. Just wanted to show you a new module that we've been working on. Um, it's called SVG Sanitizer. Um, we've been using SVG, SVGs a lot in our courses. Um, we've been injecting a raw SVG in, and that allows us to do some custom JavaScript interactions. Um, one of the problems that you often run into though is that um, whenever you're injecting SVGs, is it's, it could be a real security risk. Um, SVGs are just XML um, markups, so there's no telling what could be in there. You could have JavaScript in there, some cross-site scripting uh, vulnerabilities. Um, so it's really best to run that through some type of filter. Unfortunately, Drupal doesn't really have a filter that's appropriate for um, SVGs. They have the um, uh, filter XSS, XXS, um, but unfortunately with SVGs, they have a lot of really unique properties in them that often get filtered out. And some of those properties, you really need them to um, actually display the SVG. So we made this module um, integrate with the SVG sanitizer library that exists out there on GitHub, made by Daryl Doyle. And what that does is it has a predefined list of uh, whitelisted tags and attributes that um, it will run an SVG through, filter out all the tags and attributes that aren't in the whitelist array, and uh, spit the SVG back out. So it's pretty nice. Um, how the, the Drupal module works is it gives you a field formatter for any of your file fields. So in this case, we have an SVG content type, um, an SVG upload field, which is a file upload field. And on that file upload field is um, an SVG sanitizer format. So if we take a look at um, an example SVG that we would be using here, here's one. So it has a lot of different, uh, a lot of different stuff going on here. This was exported straight from Illustrator as an SVG, and whenever we upload it, this is what we get initially. So we can already tell that the um, SVG sanitizer is actually doing too good of a job filtering things. So um, we need to find out what exactly it's filtering out from the SVG that we actually need and add it to the list of um, whitelisted tags and attributes. So we can already tell that there's probably some view box issues going on. Generally with responsive images, you really need the view box um, so that it knows uh, what if its reference is. So, yep, we can see here that the view box has been stripped off the SVG tag. So let's go ahead and add that to the list of allowed attributes. Hit submit, refresh, and okay. So now we have a responsive SVG. And as you can see here, the view box attribute is back. Cool. So what's next here? All right, well, it looks like the, these tubes here, which are paths, the, the path, SV, um, path tag, aren't showing up, which is odd because paths are fine. Um, as we can see, there are paths all over here. So what about them is getting stripped off? Well, um, the, the to, to actually, the way the SVGs um, make this gradient here is they actually use custom tags to perform the gradient. And those custom tags are usually stored in the DEFs um, section. Um, and as you can see, they're not here. If we reference this real SVG here, you can see that the linear gradient tag is present. So I bet you that's it. So let's go ahead and add that linear gradient tag to the list of allowed, at your, uh, allowed tags. Save that. All right, cool. Still not perfect though. The gradient is obviously, or the, the um, linear gradient tag is obviously being applied, but some aspects of it clearly aren't. So let's, let's check the real SVG and see what's going on. So ID looks good, that's always, that's typical. X, these X and Y attributes are really typical, so that can't be it. 
But here are two that might not be typical. So this gradient transform and this gradient units. Let's check the um, other SVG to see if they have those attributes. So we'll go in SVG, defs, linear gradient. And indeed, it doesn't look like they have the, um, those gradient attributes. So let's go ahead and grab gradient transform and gradient units. And let's add those to the list of allowed attributes. And there we go, perfect. So um, hopefully that helps. It's a little, uh, the finding out exactly what tags are missing is uh, can be a chore sometimes, but uh, hopefully this module um, helps out in, in keeping those SVGs nice looking, um, but still secure. So um, again, it's SVG sanitizer on D.O. Let me know if you have any issues or questions. Later.